Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. If you are using API based models or hosted models from OpenAI, Anthropic, Google Gemini or any other such provider, doesn't matter if it is open source or closed source. If you are using it through API, you are consuming tokens and you need to be aware of these tokens. How do you know how many tokens are you using, how much they are going to cost and how to be careful about it is all about cost saving and making sure you are using these tokens optimally so that your application is not only beneficial but also cost effective which is primarily the key to the success of every application including the AI powered ones. So in this video I am going to explain in very simple words what are these tokens and more importantly how you can calculate them and how can you be aware of your cost especially when it comes to open AI based tokens. But as far as tokenizing is concerned, this video is valid for every LLM out there, especially the ones which are hosted. So what is token? When you think about it, token is simply a piece of word or words. Whenever you call a large language model, which is API based or hosted, the API processes the request, the input is broken down into tokens. These tokens are not cut up exactly where the words start or end. Tokens can include trailing spaces and even subwords. I really like the way OpenAI has described this rough estimation of tokens. So if you remember this, this really helps you in determining the anatomy of the token. So for example, one token is roughly around four characters in English and that is highly language dependent. If you are using Chinese, you, you are using Arabic, Spanish or Korean or any other language, this might change. But just for the standard one, one token is equal to four characters in English or three by four words and 100 tokens is equal to 75 words and one to two sentences are 30 tokens. Personally, normally I go with paragraph because normally whenever I'm submitting the large text to the model, I don't go word by word or sentence by sentence. I just make a rough estimation in terms of paragraph. So one paragraph, which could be, I would say seven to eight lines is equal to hundred tokens. So that is how I do. This is just my own convention that helps me in determining the cost. So now you understand what token is. And roughly when we are talking about how many t tokens could be in a text, this many, it's a rough approximation. If you want to go with the exact size, let me show you three different tools, which are all online in the browser, no login, no sign up, no payment is required, which you can check out to determine the tokens. So the first one is this Versal app, which is tiktokenizer.versal.app. This is quite good and this gives you the exact number of tokens by the way. Normally I go to this whenever I'm not LLM dependent. I just go to this and I will drop the link to it in video description. So for example, I want to see how many tokens are in this paragraph. So this is just a definition of AI and then it has just created the whole message for you. Now this is important. If you have been watching my videos where I have been testing out different models, some models require this prompt template where we have system message which is where we are telling the ai and then we have user and then we have the assistant where it also has got the role so for this text on the right hand side this is it how it has converted the token and these are the exact tokens and if you go at the top the number of tokens in this text are 126 on the top, you can also go with the model. So for example, if I say, okay, tell me how much would these tokens be for Llama 3? Let's wait for it. Okay, so I think they haven't really, I'm not sure why. Okay, let me paste the text in. Normally it changes, but I think they are changing the application. So you have to paste the text again. And you see the number of tokens have changed. So it has come down because Lama distributes them a bit differently. That is why I was saying it is a rough estimation. For example, I'll just go down and, and I will just 
pick any one randomly for example i'm just going i'm not going to go with open ai this time maybe let's go with the google's one there you go so now google is slightly higher but not that bad so open ai is the biggest it seems at the moment what about microsoft microsoft is also lower there so this is how you can calculate the tokens with this site now there is another site which i just came across this also gives you uh, this also gives you a bit of a context so for example and this one is sherman.com something like that so this is a calculate from text as soon as i paste it these are the number of tokens and this is where i was quite surprised that um, how does it is calculating on the basis of this so it is just giving you a generic view here and then it is calculating 59 tokens from this calculate from words calculate from characters so it gives you the whole one but i have found that the previous one the tick tokenizer one is more accurate maybe this i'm not sure which exact science this is using another tool which i commonly use when i'm dealing with open ai's model is this one and this is quite accurate too especially when it comes to open ai's model so for example if i paste a text here it is gpt4 o and mini the recent one and it shows 110 tokens so if you go down this is how it is telling you so when it comes to open ai's models i go to this platform.openai.com tokenizer and i will drop the link to it in video description when i am going with the open open source ones i simply go to this tech tokenizer website now this is interesting so for example one thing i am always very surprised that when i select such such as gpt4 o from here and then let me paste the content it says 126 token which we also saw earlier and then when you go here you see it is showing you 110 token the reason being is that in this one i am also adding this whole prompt template that is a key reason here so 26 tokens are extras which i am paying just for the prompt template so for example if i remove this let me remove this system message from here let me remove this prompt template separators from the start and also from the end there you go now we have 110 here and we have 110 here so that is why i think that i really like this one token tick tokenizer one for most of the llms it gives me quite a correct token count and which through which i can simply get my cost estimation from whatever llm i'm using and for example for platform dot um, openai.com there is a pricing which is quite accurate most of the time so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it before i let you go let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video if you um are looking for some web scraping tool this is quite a good tool it is primarily agent ql is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly easily and at scale you can use python sdk to run your queries in production using playwright and you can use the browser-based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page agent ql is a robust alternative to fragile xpath and dom css selectors as it uses the power of ai to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for and i will drop the link to their website in video's description so do check them out thanks a lot for all the support and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and please also share it among your network thanks for watching